Il trattamento di prima linea del carcinoma dell'endometrio avanzato o ricorrente sta facendo grandi passi avanti grazie all'immunoterapia con un farmaco chiamato Dostarlimab, grazie ai risultati di uno studio importante che si chiama Ruby. I primi risultati di questo trial sono stati pubblicati l'anno scorso sul New England Journal of Medicine, ma quest'anno al recente congresso della SGO, la Society of Ginecological Oncology che si è svolta a San Diego, sono stati presentati nuovi dati di questo studio di estrema rilevanza e definiti dagli esperti se senza precedenti. Noi ce li facciamo raccontare dall'autore principale del trial, il professor Mansur Mirza dell'Università di Copenaghen, che abbiamo incontrato a Venezia dove si sta svolgendo Spring Break 2024 Everbloom, una due giorni nella quale esperti italiani e internazionali fanno il punto sulle ultime novità nella gestione dei tumori ginecologici. Uh, professor Mirza, you are the principal investigator of the Rabi study, but first of all, could you explain why you did the study? So endometrial cancer, uh, we think it's a very good prognosis disease, but if you have a patient with stage three, stage four, or first relapse, uh, they have a poor prognosis. The best we had was chemotherapy, carboplatin, paclitaxel, but the, all, the most recent trials have shown that more than half of the patients are not surviving after three years. So there was a real unmet need to uh, in, improve the outcome of these patients. And could you explain and shortly summarize the design of the Rabi study? So what we did was, first of all, we took all the patients in, uh, also the rare diseases like carcinosarcomas, and we uh, wanted to see in all patients, either they were uh, mismatch repair deficient or proficient, Uh, if the addition of the study map to chemotherapy is going to be beneficial. Of course, we stratified according to this uh, deficient and proficiency of the uh, mismatch repair status. Uh, patients were randomized to receive uh, the study map or placebo with carboplatin paclitaxel six cycles and then continued on monotherapy with the study map and plus or placebo until three years. And the beauty of this study is that we have three primary endpoints. The uh, first endpoint was progression-free survival in the mismatch repair deficient population. Uh, and if that was positive, we looked at progression-free survival in overall population. And last but not the least, also progression the overall survival in the whole population. And then we had pre-planned Uh, subgroup analysis of mismatch repair proficient population, progression-free survival, and of course overall survival both for the MMRD and MMRP population. What did we already know from the Rabi study before this very important update that has been presented uh, recently at the last uh, Society of Gynecology Oncology annual meeting? So last year I presented the uh, first uh, primary results of Ruby trial they were unprecedented. Um, it showed that in the DMMR population, uh, the progression-free survival was increased by a hazard ratio of 0.28, which is, which is 72% risk reduction uh, in these patients. More, even more that the PFS curves for the experimental arm are flat at uh, about 60% telling us that probably we have cured many of these patients and they're not going to relapse. So this is really game changer. The same we saw in the overall population, uh, a huge benefit of addition of the Stalimab to chemotherapy. Uh, but we did not have at, time, at that time mature data on overall survival, which we presented this year. So, uh, coming to the new results, uh, which are the new data that have been presented at the last SGO Congress? So, the, the third primary endpoint was overall survival, and that was mature, and we presented overall survival of, uh, of uh, Ruby trial, which was again extremely positive, especially when we look at the subgroup analysis, both for the mismatch repair deficient and proficient disease. In mismatch repair deficient, overall survival hazard ratio is 0.32, which is again unprecedented. We have never seen such a huge benefit. And when you look at the couplet markers, you see there the curve is fl the flat uh, for the experimental arm with the Stalimab. What does that mean? That means probably these patients are cured 
uh, and 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 uh, we, we we are quite uh, privileged to see these these results. When we look at the uh, MMRP population, again we see a median overall survival benefit of seven months. Again, it's a huge, huge uh, uh, benefit. So all in all, I can say that uh, we have a, a great new standard of care for our patients. Uh, many of these patients will be cured and uh, quality of life is answered to a positive side. So we have a new drug which has made unprecedented overall survival benefit and, uh, and, and progression-free survival and uh, with a better quality of life. So I think we, this is uh, something we have never seen in uh, oncology, uh, in Ghani oncology before. Based on these very exciting results, and uh, in addition to what you just told us, um, which is the importance of, of this data and the relevance for the daily clinical practice? So are these results really practice changing? These results are unprecedented, and they are clearly practice changing. Uh, we cannot go back and give chemotherapy alone to our patients. Uh, it should be chemotherapy plus dastalimab in whole population. However, we first have received approval by European Medicines Agency for the DMMR population uh, and we are awaiting the uh, approval for intention to treat population. We, uh, the sponsor waited to submit that until the overall survival data was there and now we have overall survival data and I, I believe that all patients are going to benefit from this uh, and, and, and this is really, really practice changing.